This bridge is going to be a massive improvement for all of the traveling public. That's Amtrak, CT Rail, the maritime traffic, and freight that uses this structure. We're going to have a much more reliable bascule span. It's not going to get stuck anymore. We're not going to have to rush out here and repair it. We're going to have a 100-year design life, starting the clock over again, essentially. And we're going to have a much simpler structure to maintain. It's going to look good, and it's going to last a long time. Here in Connecticut, we're proud to partner with Amtrak on this project and many others where we're investing in transformational projects that are going to improve travel for people passing through our state every single day. Between our craft and our subcontractors, and then when the project is in full swing, well, we're going to ramp up to around 300 craft on the project. Safety on this job is priority number one. We have to have a culture as a group that every day we help each other. So far on this project, we're on schedule, we're on budget. It's a large collaborative effort between Amtrak and AECOM and the joint venture uh, to ultimately realize the goals of this project. The new bridge is being constructed within 60 feet of the existing bridge. We're standing within the right-of-way of the new bridge. So right here where you see this, this fender system and the crane off in the distance, this is where the new bridge is going to be constructed. It's really critically important for us to continue to work with our partners at Amtrak, Federal Railroad Administration, and the government here in Connecticut to ensure that we continue to make faster, more reliable commutes and get people where they need to go crisscrossing the safety of rail.